Hello awesome YouTubers, Jugrad G here um, with a, u well, a unique video actually. Um, I have got a bit of the crew um, in the background while I talk about this as well as Dirt Rally if I end up talking that long. Um, but today I'm going to start a series and um, one note st to start with, we are really close to 10,000 uh, overall views on my channel. Uh, it'd be awesome if I can hit that. Uh, because uh, <laughs> if you look at some of my awful earlier videos that are highly probably entertaining and cringe worthy, I only probably hit about seven odd views, and um, a few of them are like oh, my last couple of videos hit like three thousand views. I thought that'd never happen. But anyway, um, moving on, uh, I'm going to start a series about how to become a racing driver or get into racing. As uh, I do this as a hobby, uh, I'm not. Before anyone thinks I'm not right up there in Formula Three or anything like that. Hopefully, you never know. But I'm not. But I know a good few stepping stones to take first. And today, the first episode is about just setting off the first stepping stones. It First of all, it does depend where you live, I would say. Um, a lot of this may be biased towards the UK, so I'm terribly sorry. America, you are very lucky because you do have a few good scholarships you can get into, like Mazda Road to Indy and various other things. But my first key thing to do is you first of all need to know what sort of motorsport you're into. So um, for me, if you want to try karting out, go to a local karting track uh, uh, just for an arrive and drive and go. Uh, if, and if you enjoy that, start karting. Uh, if you want to do more of the off-roady stuff, MX stuff, you, yeah, you best try quad biking or anything off-roady. I, I, I'm not in that sort of pedigree motorsport, but you best look in that area especially even some a lot of rally drivers also start from quad biking as well um, or if you're old enough just jump straight in and go to cars straight away um, if you're really into it then um, you need to look for a local club now this can be really easy depending where you live so in England the south of England's full of clubs <laughs> not so much the north of England but if you find a local club even if it's just a local arrive and drive club uh, even better if later on it's a club you can bring your own go-kart to. Now if that's the case it's going to have to be an outdoor track uh, for, the, for go-karting because we're focusing on go-karting now and track racing. Um, it's going to have to be an outdoor track because as far as I know you cannot bring your own go-kart onto an indoor go-karting track. Um, so if you're properly starting getting into it now and you're getting better, well you're going to need kit. And the best place to get kit, surprisingly, for, for your first kit, I'd recommend eBay. Google racing suits, you can get an entire racing suit for under £100. That's the overalls, the gloves, the boots. That's excluding the helmet and any safety devices like rib protection or neck protection. Uh, you have to buy them separate. But overall, I'd recommend you need at least a 120 to 150 to start out. That's including your helmet. Uh, you can as cheap later on you can move on and you can get if you wanted to get spark or stuff that can cost up to 500 quid um, then you can do but what if you're starting out because you never know you might get put off it and don't want to do it get something cheap whilst you're moving on as well you'll notice there's a drive and drive sort of races going on so a local one for me is the SG Petch um, that I take part in Find any local event, whatever motorsport you're doing, find local arrive and drive events. They're cheap in comparison to your own events because you just turn up, off you go and race. Um, they don't need license either, but because they don't need license, you'll tend to find the facilities and the management and the marshalling isn't as good. Now, that's roughly where I am actually at the moment, um, but you need to then work towards getting your own go-kart. And I've got my own go-kart and um, or whatever if you want to start your bikes or anything you need to then focus getting your own if you want to start out biking like track biking there is mini moto you may have seen them around some go-kart tracks um, but pretty much after that you need to move on and focus on getting your own bike get one used because um, I got the chassis for 200 quid surprisingly which is a good bargain I had to buy the engine, um, four strokes cheaper for go-karts um, than two stroke, but two stroke you tend to find more championships, unless you're wanting to do endurance racing and you want uh, that, you need about, you usually need two 
four stroke engines if you're going for sprint you do need to go for a two stroke but the problem with two strokes is they don't last as long and they cost a lot more to maintain and they're a lot more to buy to start off with so it all depends upon the budget you've got now the reason i recommend getting your own as soon as you can is a you can practice more to get to your license and it's cheaper on average it's about in england it's around 40 pound an hour so i don't know if it's the same in the states if you converted it but that's how much it is good on a good place for an hour um that's how much it costs for a day if you bring your own go-kart now you will have to maintain it and look after it but it still comes out cheaper um and then after that you need to work towards your license all depending what branch of motorsport you're wanting to do for england if you want to do kart and you need arcs license you need you i can't remember the name but you need your basic car racing license if you just started out in cars straight away um, and you, this, you need a rally license if you want to start rallying. Don't know about bikes, because um, obviously I'm not starting out in bikes. But I'm going to base these videos purely on, obviously, cars and getting into motorsport that way. Um, you can jump straight in. There's some events that do not need license or need basic license. Um, apart from that, after that, you need to work towards your basic license. Because uh, you'll find out once you get into licensed events, the competition's better and tougher. Now, uh, your age also varies on how difficult, I would say, it is in class. So you've got Bambino, which is around 4-5. You've got Cadet, which is 8 and up. You've got... Oh, yeah, you've got Cadet. And then you've got Junior, that's it, 13 and up. And then once you hit 16, you hit Seniors. Sadly, um, I started at Cena's straight away, so very hard jumping into Cena's straight away because it's anybody over 16. But um, this is our first episode, first stepping stone episode. If you ask me any questions or anything in the comments, uh, I will help out. If you need any links to websites, um, let me know and I'll give you some links. Um, if you want, if you find this interesting and you want me to branch off into further detail, we can do. Um, I will recommend various books, guides, websites as well as we go through these series. And one last thing I do rem remember and do recommend for the people that have stayed and listened to the full video, find a local Facebook group. Or if not, just find a national Facebook group and ask questions on there because there will be people that either live locally or have done this for numerous decades going on for and they'll help you um, so you do need to find that as well but uh, thank you all for watching and um, if you really do like this give it a thumbs up let's hit that 10,000 views and uh, yeah I'll see you into left six right six eighty caution jump past junction 100 past junction 